talk about the telescope lens for a phone, iPhone or Android phone. I ordered it for my LG G5. So today I'm gonna to show you the footage I got using this because when I ordered this, I thought, you know what? That's probably not really going to work. There's no way in hell that this is gonna be the real deal. And a lot of reviews online, they complain about it because they set it up with the tripod and it's too top heavy, you know, it just falls over. So I'll give you one tip on that and then I'll show you the footage quick so you can see for yourself. Comes with a lens cover, two lens covers actually. It comes with the clip that you just screw on like that. It comes with the cleaning cloth, suction cup, and then the tripod, but you know what? Don't waste your time because this is what you should do. So what I didn't tell you guys is that this also comes with this guy right here. And this is really nice because it fits any phone and it mounts to any standard tripod. And that's what I'm gonna tell you here is the main tip is to get a good tripod like this. This one's a pretty nice one. It was only like 40 bucks though. But just get some sort of normal size tripod. It won't be top heavy. Then you can put your phone on here with the lens and it actually works out pretty nice. But take a look at these clips and I'll show you a few things right here. Off of Chief Joseph Scenic Byway near Yellowstone, we found these pine squirrels running around. Look at this guy up in the top right hand corner. Let's try to zoom in on him. So once I got the tripod set into place, I had to find him first. You see we have a really nice clear picture here. Looks like planet Earth or something. And you see these blacks, the black circle around the edges. I'll get to that in a minute, how to fix that. Here we see a moose in the Bighorn Mountains um, on the way to Yellowstone. This is without the lens. Okay, so I tried to zoom in. I don't have the lens on yet. Uh, picture's kind of fuzzy. If I zoom in any more, it's just gonna look worse. So let's put the lens on and see what we see. Okay, so you can see it's a little bit darker, but it looks pretty nice. We have a nice close-up of the moose feeding in the willows there, and this is just not zoomed in at all, just the lens on. Here, we zoomed in a little bit more. I had a little trouble getting it set in the place where I could get a clear picture on him. And this is why you need the tripod, because you see how it really shakes around a lot if you don't have the tripod. So how to fix this dark vignette effect? Well, first of all, you can use the suction cup thing that comes with it. That might work, but if you don't want to use it, all you need to do is crop that out a little bit. And here you see I cropped it out. I don't feel like I lost that much resolution in the picture. I think it still looks pretty good, but that's up to you. So here's a marmot we found up on the north side of Yellowstone, way up in the mountains. And you see we got a really nice clear picture. I wish if I had footage uh, without the lens, obviously this is with the lens on. He was way out there, you almost needed binoculars. So I put the lens on, zoomed in a little bit, cropped out the vignette, and this is what we get. So that's, that's what it is right there. I think it's well worth the money. I would highly recommend it. And this piece here that comes with it, this is worth the money alone. If you already have a tripod and you want something to mount your phone to on the tripod, because this thing is just so solid and your phone won't fall off. You don't want to keep it on your tripod and go across the stream then have it fall in the water or something, but great investment. Definitely would check it out. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to Drone Guru if you like this video and we'll see you guys next week.